Hokey dokey. In this problem, they tell us to use the trapezoidal rule with n equals 3. Keep in mind, this is n equals 3 to approximate the integral from 0 to 2.4 for f of x. So they give us a little table of values from 0 to 2.4. Again, the important piece is n equals 3. They give us way more values than necessary to break this up into three equal subintervals. So keep in mind, if it's n equals 3, we want to find the route that breaks it up evenly into that many sub intervals. So in this case, we don't need to use this and this and this and this and this and so on because they tell us we just need three trapezoids, basically. And so from 0 to 0.8, from 0.8 to 1.6, and 1.6 to 2.4, those are three equal sub intervals. So considering these values for the trapezoids, we can leave out these values. So now we just use our trapezoidal rule. Our sum will be 1 half or 0.5 times the width. What is the width between each of these from 0 to 0.8 and from 0.8 to 1.6 and so on? That's a jump of 0.8. Again, that kind of just comes from the difference in x values, 2.4 minus 0 or just 2.4 divided by the number of sub intervals. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 2.4 divided by 3 is 0.8. So we have 1 half times the width times the first height coming from the y value. So negative 6 plus 2 times the second height plus 2 times the third height plus 1 times the last height. So we can probably work this out by hand. Let's give it a go. We have 1 half times 0 0.8. I'll go ahead and call that. 0.4. Half of 0.8 is 0.4. And so on the inside, we have negative 6 plus negative 8 plus 4 plus 8. Okay, so negative 8 cancels with positive 8. Okay, and then we have negative 6 plus 4. That's negative 2. And then here, maybe we could use a calculator, but maybe not because 0.4 times 2, just getting it back to that 0.8, and then we just keep the negative. So looks like B is our answer. Once we break out the eraser, we confirm that. Um, hopefully this makes some sense. So the biggest thing with this I, want, I wanted to point out was obviously the n equals 3 when we're given more than enough values in the table. In this case, however, the second example, they do tell us that n equals 6, and they give us just enough values to perform this operation. So still trapezoidal rule, still from 0.3 to 0.9. I'm not sure if they do this, but I guess also be cautious or be aware of if they might change the interval here. So maybe they could do, I don't know, from 0.6 to 0.9. So instead of 0.3 here, they'd have 0.6. I don't know if they do that, but look out for any other subtle changes. You know, be on your toes and understand like why we're doing what we're doing for different intervals and for different end values and things like that. All right, let's jump into it. We know the width between each of these x values is 0.1. So we need 1 half times the width of 0.1 times the first height plus 2 times all the other heights. I'll kind of rewrite it in a different way here. So 2 times negative 4 and negative 3 and negative 2 and 4 and and we stop just before the last one to just add 1 times the last y value, 0.8. Or sorry, just 8. And so let's start simplifying. 1 half of 0.1 is 0 0.05. I see negative 8 and positive 8 again. Those cancel. So now we just have 2 times negative 4 and all this stuff here. So let's see. Negative 4, negative 3 is negative 7. Negative 2 is negative 9. Uh, and then, wow, nice, plus 4 plus 5. Well, if this is negative 9, this is positive 9, these cancel. So this whole thing, all the heights, whoops, all of these equals 0. Everything cancels out. How convenient is that, huh? So we get 0 0.05 times 0, and we get 0 as our answer. Oh, break out the eraser to see that E is our answer.
pretty cool. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know.